God of choosing for the journey salvation of my soul. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. I want to thank him for all his guidance in my working place. I want to thank God of choosing for how he has been preserving my family and I. I want to thank him, lastly, for all what he has done for me on Thursday. After redeeming my pledge of, uh, on Sunday, there is a pledge we made for the youth uh, program. So I redeemed my pledge on Sunday. God of choosing favor me with 100,000 euros. Power! Hey, hey, hey! God's divine way to prosperity. So with this, God of choosing have done, I say may all the glory, all the honor be ascribed unto him alone in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now I want to pray for my dad in the Lord. I want to pray for him that God of choosing will continue to be with him. I want to pray that the glory that was with Moses, because Bible recorded that the glory was upon him, that the people could not be able to see him. That glory will continue to boom where he is forever in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to pray for all the chosen members all over the world, heaven at last. I and my family, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. That testimony has continued to ring everywhere. That as you sow into the work of God, you will reap without measures. And the pastor authored the book, God's Divine Way to Prosperity. is in sowing seed and redeeming it. If you heard him where he said, he redeemed what he pledged he made on Thursday. And God was choosing, showered him 100,000 naira. Are you owing any pledge? Is there any pledge you have made to God and you are still owing? We want to plead with you. Do everything that is legitimate. That is right to pay your pledge because surely you are going to come to testify in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Blessing Okay, okay. reciting at number 14 Muyu Opale Aguda. And my first time of coming to that when I joined Choosing Fully was well, 2008. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm here to bless the name of the Lord for what has done to me and my family. I'm thanking God for how God delivered me, for the deliverance he gave to me, and also how he healed me and also my entire family. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It happens that for the past a month now, I have been sick. Malaria, parasites. So I've been taking treatment both injection and all the uh, other treatments. Upon all the treatments I took, if I, the thing will still be there. If I go back to test, it will still read malaria A+. plus. So it happened that for the past three weeks now, for the cause of this malaria, it resulted that I have not been sleeping. In the night, I don't sleep. In the daytime, I don't sleep. Before you know it, it resulted to BP. Oh. Since of my life, I have not had any issue of BP. But before he knew it, because of the cause of this illness and the attack, uh, the thing that resulted to BP, my BP was increased every day. This is how I've been battling. So it happens that last week, Friday to Saturday, the thing was so severe that I could not even close my eyes from night to the following day. Before you know it, the BP was increased. That was how I find myself in the hospital on Saturday. I was admitted. It was like I was going. I don't, I know, I don't know. So when I reached the doctor after the examination and all the rest, he said that the doctor said that ah, they have, they have to admit me because then I found out that I could not breathe very well. My breathing was going higher and higher. So the doctor said that they need to admit me. So that was how I was admitted. From that day, from that morning to the in, in the night. So it happened that the doctor came. I took the drip and all the treatment. So when the doctor came to examine me, she came and she asked me how I was. I was I said, I told her that I'm fine, I'm better. So I, I asked her of my results. She said, all the results they carried was okay, except the malaria is C plus. I said, ah. This malaria that I've been treating for the past a month now, every time is still one plus. So meaning that all the medication I've been taking was not working. You know, the doctor 
said, I know the environment we find ourselves in. So I was asking him, I was asking her about the one, you know, because it happened that every night I find myself that it, it would be as if there was an object or hand turning my brain. And immediately this thing starts, that is how I will battle with that, with that thing till the following day. So the doctor and I told me that I know that it's not everything that is under medical. There are things that are above hospital. I said, okay, it's not obvious that I know that it's really an attack. I said, okay, despite that, let me just, I told her, the doctor, let me discharge me, let me go. She said, no, they have to stay. I said, no. He said, I have to stay because the way I was breathing was not all that normal. I said, don't worry. My God will take care of me. I want to go and face my God. It's not that I knew that ah, this thing is not really a uh, normal uh, malaria. Let me go and talk to my God. So after the dragging, she accepted. That, has, that, that was how I was admitted. I was discharged that Saturday night when I came back home. I told my children on the choosing cable for me. I was following it to the following day. Being Sunday, week today, I managed to reach here. When I was here, I was not even with myself. It was like, like my spirit has even gone out. I wrote a prayer point. I was there crying. Say, God of choosing. You know that this thing is beyond hospital. It is you that I know. Will you allow me to just go like that? So I was talking to this God of choosing, crying. So, lo and behold, before you know it, our daddy mounted the pulpit. You know, I was very, in fact, I was not even hearing what my daddy was saying. I was seriously just, I was out. So, in the course of our daddy's ministration and praying to God be the glory, he mentioned my case. Wow. When he mentioned my case, I was like, ah, thank God. Even when he mentioned the case, I don't even know. It was my sisters that told me that, did you hear your case? That daddy have mentioned yourself. I said, to God be the glory. So when, after the church, we closed, we went to back home. So reaching in the evening time, I saw God of choosing. Thank God that my daddy have mentioned my case. And I know that I am healed. Please, let me just sleep. Even if it's one, and let me just sleep. So lo and behold, I slept up that evening. So hmm. that evening time, it was in the dream. God of choosing revealed to me there was a, a, a someone that came to my house. Don't know God of choosing was revealed to me that I have to avoid this so so person. You know the the voice was just come pick by pick Jota start writing what I'm telling you. But after every said that see this this person that came to your house, you have to avoid her, avoid everything to do with her. So I yeah, woke up. It was in the dream. I said, Ah, thank God I slept so for a, for the first time since three weeks. So that happened. That one past in the night again i find out again that i be able to sleep i slept since that uh, that night and was was still in the dream god of choosing you know fought my battle i wake up the following day and since then till now that was how everything just left me power god of chosen answers prayer oh he answers prayer oh he answers prayer. Let's clap on to God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, the following day, that's Monday, it, it was a seed, that was a heavy thing that was just, you know, moved out of my body. Since then, you know, I want to tell you that uh, my body, all my system have bounced back again. Oh. I'm here to glorify the name of the Lord. Thank Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Again, I'm here to thank this God of choosing because that day when the thing left me, I find out that the thing came, the affliction came upon my children. All my four children, at the same time, all of them were, there was, you know, very severe fever, headache, everything, their body system changed. Before, you know, I would just say, ah, what happened? But to God be the glory, both my children, my husband, even my mom, the whole of my family was afflicted. But I'm here to thank this God of choosing who had made it possible for us to be alive, even to be here today. To God be the glory. All the afflictions and the sickness have left my family alone. Mm. I said, this God has done this. May his name alone be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray for my daddy in the Lord because I want to tell you, if not him, I didn't know by now what would have been our, our, that's our position. But to God be the glory that for giving all such a daddy in this our own time. My prayer for him is that 
as he started with God, that God will never abandon him. That God has started with him, we end with him. This, this our daddy will not die. He will, he will be raptured alive. And I pray that God will envelop him with great option to fashion in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our mommy in the Lord, heaven at last, her children and children's children, the entire family, heaven at last. And all the chosen members, heaven at, at last. I and my children, heaven at last. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap on to God and appreciate him. That was death that God averted because she's a choosing. Thank God that she knows God of choosing. And when she saw that everything was withering away in the house, she said, discharge me. And she now came to God that day, she's free. That's what the privileges and blessings we are enjoying. For some people that do not know this way, they will probably rely on their money, on hospital. And then the terrible end would have happened. So I'd like us to rejoice for her and ourselves that we are under this canopy. We are protected and nothing wrong will ever happen to us. Clap on to God. Clap on to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The God that you is so great. He is so great. The God that you is so great. He is so great. The God that you is so great. He is so great. Amen. Amen. My name is Margaret Opera Andrew. I want to give a, I want to sing a small song to thank this God. Because I came here in January, I've been here from US. I am saying thank you, Lord. I am saying thank you, Lord. The God of choosing you are good. I am saying thank you, Lord. I am saying thank you. The God of choosing you are good. Amen. Amen. I am here to testify, Margaret of Prandudu. Remember, I came here in January with a complication of a coronavirus. I joined this ministry in the year 2003. And I've been in this way, I've not changed. I'm telling you, I've not disappointed me, I've been so good to me. I'm here again to testify that I came here with a lot of problems. Affection, coronavirus, complication, and also diabetes, and also weaknesses. Tanners and evil dream and even falling down the bed in the night alone. Oh but as I started complete, no, continue to attend uh, services, I do measure most of my problems and my children so that God gave me, I mean uh, God answered all my prayer. I am when I'm going back, I praise the Lord. It's only God that can do to the praise our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What I have to thank God for again, that uh, I've been here for six months. And uh, I'm not paying another money because the God of Jesus has done this for me. He has waived extra because I'm supposed to pay two thousand dollars to go back to America. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God and I'm so grateful to God. What He has done for my chance solo. And also, when I was in America, when I was sick, I've been with my son-in-law, my daughter, for twenty good years in US. I helped them to take care of their children. When I had this coronavirus, my son, I was in oxygen. Sitting down, my son-in-law, if I don't greet him, not greet him. He thought it is well that I'm not going to recover. But I'm so grateful that I'm going to see him and say that my God is a great God. There's not that possible. Our God is so I do everything. Just praise our Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All those who dream no more again, I can go and take my bet and also do everything for myself without anybody helping me. Hmm. And the journey mercy granted to my son from a Jose to come and see me. This God is very great. He's so he great. Here. Yes, there's nothing that's impossible with him. Because I used to fall down from bed. Yes, in America, but now I'm not falling down because they were manipulating me. All caught men, I just fall down on the bed. Thank God. I'm going back home. I mean, to America, hale and strong. I'm not going to pay shishi. Wait for, so, I mean, to reschedule my flight back to U.S. Minnesota. I came from Minnesota. To God be the old glory. The God has done this for me, so I'm very grateful. I say thank you, thank you. There are so many I cannot mention. I appreciate you, Lord. I will serve this God to be a I'm not going to serve any other God. I'll be a chooser until I die. I will be a chooser until I die. I'm not going to serve any other God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for my daddy. 
I cannot lie. I think I will have knelt down. This God, I committed identity to the sense of God. The God that told him, make a hedge round about Job and his uh, children, family member. I'm asking God, God praying that you should make a hedge of protection round about our children, as he did for Job. And this God, he magnified Joshua in the presence of Israel. Wherever Job must go, let God begin to magnify him all over the world. For in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 And your God will never fail him, never forsake him, because he supply all that he needed for to, to fulfill three, four vision and tell Billy also mandate. In Jesus' name, my prayer. Amen. So, so I pray for our mom in the Lord's soul, our great mom in Solo, that God will continue to strengthen her power to go with her right from place to place, Solo, and also protect the children, Solo. Preserve those children, children of her job. They are not bringing them to us in this minute, Solo. They have been, a, a, I mean, a, a, a carbon copy of a righteousness and holiness for the youth, Solo. I am praying that they shall be like children for Isakai, that they will know what to do at the right time, Solo. They will not despise, Solo. Doing the good thing. Just in praise our Lord. I pray for choosing bread all over the daddy in the Lord. Even at last, oh Lord. I pray for our mommy and the church family member. Even at last, and myself, oh Lord. Even at last, and every chosen all over the world. Even at last, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I will so come back to give a testimony again because Amen. I will so come back in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Choosing a saying, you are. The God of chosen, God of chosen, no, of and omega, chosen, I say, you are, rejoice with our mommy, all her testimonies, miracles, thank you, Father, thank you, God of chosen, thank you, Lord, the next testifier. My name is Chizu Ikeweta Joshua. My mother here is Matida Ikeweta Joshua. I stay at number 14, Sadiku Road, Lhasa. My mother here, she was suffering for BP, blood pressure, of more than five years. They have been suffering for it. Praying, God of choosing, God of choosing, God of choosing. Come in, say, God of choosing, God of choosing will heal him. God of choosing will heal him. Unfortunately, on December, on December 4, I was at home, they crushed, they called, I was in the market, they rushed me, they called me. I should come, come, what happened? They said, your mom just snubbed. What is going on? Her hand was shaking. Her neck was, her mouth was shaking. What happened, what happened? God of choosing, I started praying, God of choosing, God of choosing, God of choosing. People there said, let me, let them rush her to the hospital. I said, God of choosing, God of choosing. I poured the anointing and key, every, the oil on his body. We took her to the hospital. When we took her to the hospital, they said that people have rise 200 to 150. Hey, I said, God of choosing, you are the one that can do this. I don't have, you are the one that can do it. I pray to God of choosing. After we're praying, we are praying with my, my friends and my members too. We started praying. And we are praying. The doctor said, okay, give her a drug. After she gave her a drug for treatment for a few days, and the BP was reduced. My mom was now saying, God of choosing. God of choosing, God of choosing. Mm. We started singing, God of choosing, God of choosing, God mm. of choosing. You are the one that healed me. Mm. God of choosing, you are the one that can heal me. Thank you, and actually, Lord. when we went, came back, we went to the doctor. The doctor said, her BP is okay. Her BP is now 149. Hey! The God of choosing has healed her. Thank you, the Father. God of choosing, you are the one that can do it. Nobody. This God of choosing, it gets you. This God of choosing, oh, I'm very, very grateful. The God of choosing, oh, you are Baba. God of choosing you are Baba, heaven at last. Thank this, you, Lord. This is an appreciation of a toki for God of choosing, for healing my mother, for BP. Oh, the God of choosing, you are so grateful. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of choosing. Let your mother say praise the Lord to the congregation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, my great Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen, for that special healing and for the acknowledgement and appreciation of our brother and her mommy. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Shall we announce again that if you are there, or maybe you are just coming in, but you have testimonies of God or chosen, 
go to my left hand side by the pulpit area. We shall give you opportunity to testify. Meanwhile, after this testifier on the podium, we are going to take our first offering in today's fellowship. So prepare for your offering, seed of faith, your tithe. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is God, God of choosing is God. It's so great. It's a great God. My name is Osas Emmanuel. I live in um, Itekun before it's actually dead. I faced problem for a good 32 years. I came from background, polygamy background. You know what that means. For you to come out from those background, you must pass through hardship and pain. But I thank God of God of Jesus that he has done, he has delivered me from those power. Thank you, Father. That is the final conclusion. Thank you, God of Chosen. So, last month, me and my wife, almost three years, me and my wife, we, we have issue. She left me for three years. I was alone, battle with the battle. So, I was asking God, this year I was asking God, God, I want my wife back and I want my family back. So, I was playing. Then, last two months, no, last this year, this uh, January, I went to Enugu. I went to go and settle case, settle everything. So, I and my wife will not settle. But she told me that she will not come back to Lagos. She wants to remain in Enugu. I said, okay. I asked her why. She said she will not come to Lagos. And she was squatting with one man. So then, and I'm, okay, when I return back, and I raised money, I rent a house for her. She was leaving. Last two months, so something just tell me, carry yourself. They go Enugu. I just prepared myself. I went to Enugu. I did not know that our daddy was coming to do crusade in Enugu. Hmm. So I went, I had a motor, I went to Enugu. I didn't want to tell my wife that I'm coming. I just learned. As I was there, I started dry fasting. I tell my wife I want to do seven day dry fasting. He told me I've never, I said, even no. I know my God is able. But if I pass through this, I know God will give me victory. So from there, she now told me that. Because she only tell me I should come to choose. I would say, no, lie. I don't like choosing. She would say, well, I say, I don't like choosing. I don't like their pattern. I don't like it. You say, for how she loves choosing. And she has found deliverance from choosing. And she says, choosing. Anytime I want to write, she will tell me I am a choosing. You know, if you touch me, you touch choosing. I say, I, I hmm. don't touch you. <laughs> so then I will surrender. I will say, okay, your God of choosing has win. I will just pack off. <laughs> so that day I was doing that seven day dry fasting. She now told me, say, that day. I know that you are too stubborn, but I want to beg you for this. Just follow me. Our daddy is coming to Enugu. That was on um, Friday. They do the crusade Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. So I thought, that, okay, fine. I will go with you. But I thought that, that the only money that I remain with my hand is transport for me to come back to Lagos. He said, I should not worry. God of Jesus has provided everything. I should oh. just come. I said, okay. Now on Friday, we prepare. I went with her, with them, body, church, everybody, we went there. The first day I was there, I was just looking around, watching the people are praying, and the people are jumping. I Me, mean, I was just looking. And Papa just clamped up it. So he started measuring cases. He now measured my case. Hey! He said, you man, you are being afflicted by the power of your father's house. And I cast that demon out of you. I see something vanish from Vanish me. from your body. Clap unto God or chosen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Father. So, I was just looking. I was free. I just like something. There is power that left me. My body was just light. I was just looking. 
I started hearing testimony. People were talking dumb. And, uh, those that I could not talk was talking. Ah, me, myself, I said, I said, no, I hold myself. I say, until I confirm myself where. I say, I will not. So, after the, the first day, the second day, everybody left. I tell my wife, I want to stay that place. Hey! That day. Power! Uh, my wife and my children, they went back home. So I was there. I was walking walk, about. You know, I say, little born baby, when, you, when, you are, when baby has been delivered, when you start walking, you see him walking around, you'll be happy. I was just happy. Mm. Everybody was mm. praying that night. I was just eating because I was just happy. So the second day, Papa come again. He said, make sure the case. I said, ah, this one, I confirm this one. It's over. Now, that's when they left. I returned back home. I started to see myself like bed that is flying, that, is, that has been released from the hey. cage. I started happy, walking around. Started, so, after everything, I returned back. I spent two days, I returned back to Lagos. I called my wife. I said, give me the address of Tusi, this place. She told me that she don't know the, the address here, but she will ask the pastor. So she now has the pastor. The pastor now give her the address of Igesha. So and I, the first day I came here, which is two weeks ago, I came here, I was sitting down there, and they came to cancel. I say I must see Papa face to face because when I was seeing him very far, then from there he speak and he cast her every demon. People was walking. Ah, I, so I say, God, you are faithful. So since that day, my life was normal. Before I will hold money like this, I will not know how the money goes. I will spend it. I will not until that money finish. My heart will not clear. Mm. Everything was just going roughly for me. But since I started the choosing, everything now has been restored, has been working. Clap until God the choosing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hey. So I want to pray for the Jew, our daddy. The word of Samuel did not fall empty handed. That's correct. But all his word was accomplished. And his word that God has put in him has come true into my life. And I pray for him. That word, his word that he speaks will never fall empty-handed. It will Amen. be accomplished to the glory of God. Amen. May God strengthen him, all him and his family. He will not go down. He will be higher and move or higher. I pray for the whole choosing heaven at last. I pray for my family too, heaven at last. May God bless you all and bless the whole choosing. I'm happy. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That means... That means that you became a chosen in the month of May, first and second of May at Enugu. Yes. That's the first time you the came first to chosen. time. And now you said 32 years problem, problem. family problem that God has delivered you. Yes, sir. Happiness and joy have come That's back come to back. your life. Yes, you are now flying like a victorious yes, bird. Yes, sir. And now you have realized that God is real. Yes, and sir. God is God of the choosing. God is a God. Are choosing. you a choosing now? Yes, sir. You are a choosing I'm for now. life. I'm for choosing. I'm my family for choosing. I've went to churches. I've went to see Apostle John C. Suleiman. I've went to CSC. I can't name many churches because of this problem. But there is no solution. But There's only one day. The only choosing. one day I can't choose Solution called. Ultimate power. God of Joseph. You are free to go. God of Joseph. God of our pastor. Call upon to God and appreciate him. The power in the Lord choosing is consistent it is permanent and it is forever you heard him saying he's gone to many places 32 years is not 32 days but only stepping into choosing on first 
of men at the Enugu Crusade. God has chosen to demolish the evil spirit. And today, he is a living human being. I don't know your case. We don't know your situation. The assurance we have is that in this commission, God has chosen will liberate you and liberate your generation. And you begin to rejoice in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God again and appreciate him.